Yes, I'm back to present this football face-off where these two will talk about the best players of the year, defenders, <laughs> midfielders, presumably attackers. Yeah. But before we begin, let's bring on the Lexan. 30 seconds, Pato, on why Trent Alexander-Arnold is the best defender of 2019. Off you go. Uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold is a great defender, but he's also essentially an elite playmaker. I think he's second Boom. in chances created in the Premier League. He's a right back. He's like David Beckham, if David Beckham had been playing for a better side and a bit more well-rounded. 4.8 tackles and interceptions a game. Also comes close to Kevin De Bruyne, both for expected goals assisted and for passes into the final third. He had a last-ditch tackle in the Champions League final. And let's not forget, they wouldn't have even Shut got up. to the final if it weren't for his performance against Barcelona in the semi. Enough! He's boring! Mm, boring! Shouldn't really be okay. booing, that's bipartisan. Yeah, you were booing him, man. You booed him? I did boo him. I yeah. don't care. I don't really know why he slagged off Beckham, to be honest. Slagging off Beckham? That, I don't know Just that like Beckham it. should have won the Ballon d'Or in 99, you heathen. Right, let's change ends, please. <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds, Joe, on why Van Dyke is the best defender of 2019. Off you go. Obviously, Virgil van Dijk Shut was the best up. defender of 2019. I took Van Dyke. he took Messi. We had to get one each, <laughs> effectively. There is no argument here. I Literally think Van Dijk is probably <laughs> the best defender <laughs> in Premier League history, quite frankly. What? Obviously won the UEFA Men's Player of the Year award. Obviously finished second in the Ballon d'Or. I didn't see Trent in the top three, by the way. 3.4 yes. aerial jewels per 90. And quite frankly, <laughs> why that statistics in there boggles the mind. Well, <laughs> and that, and that, is, that, is, that is the end. end. That is the end. And Dyke is better than Trent defending. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Trent's better going forward. That was incoherent. Boggles the mind. <laughs> I boggled my own mind. <laughs> wow, what a debate that was, eh? But who was the best debater? Who was the best defender? You decide. It's up here. Click for who won that one. I button on that. Onward to the next round. <laughs> oh Presumably my midfielders. God. Oh my god, the excitement is palpable, isn't it? As we move into midfielders of 2019. Who have you gone for, Pate? Uh, Frankie De Jong. Good, good luck. Wrong. Are you ready? 30 seconds, off you go, mate. He's the standout midfielder in the world this year. Helped his Ajax side to reach the semi-finals of the Champions League, despite being inexperienced in the competition and inexperienced overall, but ranked in the top 5% for pretty much every important midfield metric. Moving the ball into the final third, incredible. Six tackles Stats and interceptions a game. 75 million pound move to Barcelona. I wonder why that was. Maybe because they think he's the heir to Xavi and Iniesta in midfield. That seems like a pretty good mark. I don't know know what there is to say. He's clearly just the best young midfielder in the world and Joe's about to talk about Scott McTominay. That's fine, that's good championship stuff, Pato. Player. Got it all done in five seconds to spare, really. Yeah, cheers. Ran out of stuff. To, ran out, ran of out of stuff. I think, I think you should hold that against him. Oh, wow, we Pato. Cheers. Great stats in that. Thanks. And now we move on to Joe. Who have you picked, mate? Scott McTominay, obviously. Oh. Rubbish. Wow. Best midfielder in the year in, in the, the world. world. In the year 2019. Good luck with that, mate. In the champ. Because you know, 2024. Look at this. It's a graph that George has put on the page that you can't read. That also shows how he's not as good as Andrew Herrera. Jordan, why you getting it? You picked Scott McTominay. I know, are you ready? 30 seconds. Go. 23 years of age and people are already <laughs> describing him as the second coming of Christ. He is an unbelievable footballer, Scott McSauce, in every oh single God. department. McSauce. I can't name a weakness in the man. Fantastic haircut. Skin. Fantastic skin. Really good Scottish going forward. Mm. Really good going backwards. <laughs> Is quite tall. Why wouldn't you want to date him? He's quite uh, tall. Fantastic footballer, but uh. yeah, the real answer is probably Bernardo Silva. Good stuff. Wow. <laughs> Lots of facts in there. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What have I got to say? Quite tall. He's only scored about four goals. I think you covered it. The end point. Mate, look at the this. The end point here just says they can't handle him. You said good going forward, good going backwards. Quite Mate, he's, tall. Won, he's won two, <laughs> two <laughs> fouls one per game. You two didn't get that fouls one. A hell of a Venn diagram, is that what that is? No. And most importantly, it should have been Bernardo Silva. Worse than Ander Pereira in every single metric apart from fouls won and successful dribbles. So. Wow! Okay, uh, but who won? Who was the best midfielder? Was it, who did you say? Uh, Frankie Dion. Yeah, that's the one. Or Mick Sauce. Vote. <laughs> oh, Scotty, Scotty. Oh. Wow! Oh my God, it's close, isn't it? Who's winning? It's on a knife edge, mate. Could go yeah, either way. We don't time. know. Uh, we're filming this in the past. 
But as we move on to attackers, who have you picked, Pato? Uh, Messi. Who? Lionel Messi. Oh. Strong choice. Arguably yeah. the best choice. Uh, are you ready? Yeah, sure. Go. Uh, I've got no information to back this up because I don't really need it. He's just the best player in the world. He's the best player of all time. He was the best player in every league this season and he will continue to be until he retires. Uh, he obviously won the Ballon d'Or because everyone agrees with me that he was the best player in the world. And he's actually somehow getting better despite being old, much like myself and John Babb. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, basically that's it. I don't know. Like, who are you going to talk about? Lewandowski or some shit? It doesn't matter. I think I should win this round. Wow. Green word. Good stuff. Three green, seconds. Green, green. <laughs> Three seconds to spare, Pato. Nice Cheers. work, mate. Nice yeah, work. It was Almost very devoid dense. completely of facts and stats. Content. No content. Go. So I've picked Robert Lewandowski simply because he is Europe's top goal scorer for 2019. He has scored more Seven goals Messi. than Lionel Messi in 2019, Messi. so shut your dirty mouth. Messi, 53 though. in 56 games in 2019, and of course, we all know how well he has started this season. Messi is a better footballer, but has it been his best ever year? Probably not. Whereas Lewandowski, actually probably has had his best ever season of football. Not last season. Oh, right. yeah. Why not? Yeah. Because he had like, didn't he massively underconvert his chances last season? 53 goals, mate. Check Scored 22 in the league. 53 goals, mate. 53 goals. And this is what it should be. Not even good. Don't the get betting. involved, John. What do you mean? I'm here to be involved. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Who is won? it done? Have we done it? We've gone through it, lads. Yeah. We've gone through it. You've got through it. Well done to you. Thanks. And this was shocking. <laughs> Absolute. <laughs> This is awful. Thanks yeah. for staying with us. Whoever is commenting saying bring back FFO twice this a week. This is what you'll get. This is what it is. This, this, is, is, what it. It, this is it. Shit. Devoid of all quality. We've had a year to think of this. Look at the state of it. One, one to be podium. Stop fucking podium. But who won? <laughs> Was it Pato or Joe? Was it Messi or Lewandowski? Did I say that right? <laughs> Close enough. See you next year. Hopefully not. <laughs> Apparently, this is it. This is the actual end. We've got to do an end card. <laughs> so, what should they do next, lads? <laughs> Please go and watch the rest of our Christmas content because it is much better than this dog shit. This is the lowest of the low. Yeah. By far the lowest of the low. We actually do have some very good content across Football Daily and Eurofootball Daily. So, please go and tune in. Can't name anything specific, though. So good Don't luck. need to, mate. Don't need to. It's, it's all, all content. Quality. It's all yeah. content. That's factually accurate. Finally. <laughs> See ya.